Hi, I'm Liz and I bought a 32 foot project canal boat for my first home. Two things I've always wanted in life, to be mortgage free and to be able to travel. Buying a canal boat seemed the perfect idea. Follow me as I restore her into a luxurious home on a budget and explore the British waterways. Hello everyone, I think it's fair to say that since boat renovations have happened, life has been a bit hectic. I've been focusing on throwing myself into work and renovating the new gallery space whilst Ian, my boat builder, cracks on with getting Leviathan ready for me to move on. Luckily, my wonderful dad wanted to get involved. Remember when we pulled down some wooden beams in the art studio? Well, my dad managed to repurpose them and design with Ian a bed for me. Having friends over is pretty important to me, whilst also having my own space. So two bunks have been created with the ability to turn into a double. There is plenty of storage beneath the clothes, shoes and whatever else I want to have in my cabin. But with Leviathan's bills continuing, it was vital to dedicate myself to my full-time job and pull in those much needed funds. Back to work, Liz. Hello. This is it. Been here all day. Well, I went to the boot yard first. What have we done? We've got lights. Ta -da. It's been all sanded and repainted. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Um, I'm very, very tired. I've been working really hard to um, get the boat all sorted. And then as soon as I get some peace, I'm like, hey, let's do another fucking project, shall we? Oh, I'm a sadist. This is going to be Earl and Ethan Wood, which is really, really cool. It's something I've always wanted, but I never thought I could or would do. Um, I've been visiting the whole park since I was a kid. I never even thought about the possibility. Never did. I remember an opportunity came up years ago and I was like, oh, that feels too big. It feels too big. A jump. And now I'm like, you should, you should doddle. So I think the message is, if you are thinking about it, just do it. But yeah, so back tomorrow, Sunday. It's supposed to be a day of rest. Not here. No. But I'm happy. Tired but happy. <gasps> oh, Saturday, that means omelette day. <gasps> I've got omelette waiting for me at home. Mm. All the best, love you. I love you, excited. I'm excited. All the best. Hello, just enough day. Welcome to Irving Eastwood. Look at the sunset. Well, maybe you can't see it, but it's been a marvellous day today. Bloody beautiful. Let's shut the door on it, shall we? Ugh. All that fresh air will make you sick. Very disorganised workstation. But I'm just getting through some commissions. So then I can focus on juggling things here. In fact, I have actually forgotten to do the thing I was supposed to do today, which is sand the ceiling. I, 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 I forgot to do that. I was supposed to do that. If Shaz sees this, we'll just say we uh, it did it. Okay, no one grass on me. Things are going really nicely. Um, we're a bit stressed for a 24th opening in of April, but yeah, it's just nice to have a space to what I enjoy coming to, you know, I just feel really safe here and it's only 10 minutes down the road from me. And also I checked out a marina today, which is just bang in the countryside. I just can't wait to, oh, there's a lot of good things on the horizon. So when I'm settled into the marina, just while I'm coming back and forth from Hall Park Farm and the Hall Park Farm is, you know, 
all painted and lovely. I am going to just not take on any new projects. Um, no more renovation projects for a bit. I'm just going to chill and paint and enjoy my time here in cruise and just chill out. So the marina, uh, Manset Marina, it seems really reasonable and I'm just going to have a annual uh, membership there because it's it's just so beautiful and if I do decide to go off for a bit of an adventure, it's good just to have a base. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just painting this at the moment. Oh, I love it. I love my job. Catch you in a bit. Oh. Here we are, my business associate. Getting the place so look at this, look at how nice she is. Come with me. Oh, oh it's coming along. It's got loads to do, but ready, buddy. Please. Um Need a cup of tea, always need a cup of tea, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. Hello. So yes, look, it's painted. How cool is that? I'm really, really excited. The studio is coming on beautifully. A lot, a lot of hard work, a lot of effort has gone into this, but um, the most stressful part is done. The ceiling's been painted, walls have been painted. Oh no, the most stressful part has not been done. We've got to get people in. Um, so I'm feeling really, really good about the space. Um, we have a very messy makeshift studio space at the moment. Just, uh, we're still putting things away. Um, but we have a workstation, which is great. And uh, I couldn't be happier. This is, Chaz is getting her kiln uh, in on Saturday. It is Thursday today. And it's nearly seven o'clock. It's time for me to go home and do some writing, do some marketing, just do some more. <laughs> it feels never ending, but it's like a good never ending feel because this is what I really want to do. And um, it's taken a long time to actually process that I'm doing it. And I just think if, if there's something you want to do in life, just go for it. Life's just too, just too short. I know it's so cliche, isn't it? It's so cliche. But if I listened to each person who told me I couldn't do uh, couldn't do something, I would I would just stay at home. And of course, there's no guarantee that anything will work out. But you, it's about how much effort you put in. So I'm content with the work I put in, and I'm going to go home and have a glass of wine, celebrate, and I'll show the place in the daylight. I think when it's a bit brighter, but. All the best, and I hope you well. Take me to the country I need to find my Somewhere by a hillside I don't know it well If anybody sees her, tell her I'll be on my way As soon as she Just has to 